match your instincts and hone those corporate skills, Ryujin is hiring the best and brightest of today. Hey, I don't care who you work for, you can't just... Oh, you're the rookie, aren't you? The one and only. Well, the Marshal's message said you were following a lead about a stolen ship. Truth is, a lot of stolen goods flow through here. But this city is real good at keeping its secrets, even from us. You're not listening. This isn't Aquila City. The badge doesn't carry the same weight here. The people who run this place aren't overly concerned about the law. Our job is to keep the peace and make sure the violence doesn't get out of hand. The last thing anyone around here wants is some hotshot deputy looking in every dark corner. Good. Your stolen ship would have had to land at the spaceport. If it was right off the factory floor, it would have stood out. There's a guy I know, Billy Clayton, does maintenance work around the city and keeps an eye on ship traffic for me. I'll introduce you, but don't expect a favor. Even if it doesn't cause credits, nothing in Neon is free. Come on. That was pretty impressive how you volunteered to help out with the bank heist in Aquila City. Yeah, I read all the reports. You learned quickly that in Neon, staying informed and staying alive are closely linked. What stood out to me was that you didn't lose a single hostage. No wonder the Marshal tried to recruit you right away. If he hadn't, it would have made him look like a fool having some random stranger step in and do the job he couldn't. Now, if someone tried to hold up a bank here, they... but That's you understand. Bad place for That's days. why you just told me that you won't there cause trouble. Down. Keep that in mind, so you'll precious. fit right in. Frank Rennick's all in a twist because his robot got vandalized. We had a good laugh about it back at the station. <laughs> Hey, Billy. You got a second? What? Oh, it's you. you. Give me a good scare. I thought you were one of Goodman's people. Yeah, <laughs> far from it. Our new deputy here is working a case, and I thought you might be able to help. Take it away, rookie. What do you need? A stolen Hope Tech ship, huh? Well, here's the thing. Neon's got no end of shipjackers. I see them come and go every day. It's tough for a guy to remember one from the other. You know what I mean? Mm, credits ain't really what I need. There is something you could do for me. I can help you. But right now my life is in danger and I haven't even done anything wrong. Freestar Rangers are supposed to protect the innocent, right? All right, I admit, I've got a bad habit or two. Look, I know your time is valuable. Here's a few credits for your trouble. Now, if you'll just hear me out for a second. I really need your help. It's about my brother. He died while still in debt to a syndicate loan shark by the name of Emmett Goodman. Now, Goodman's coming after me to collect. He says if I don't pay up, I'm a dead man. I swear it on my best set of wrenches. Goodman's holed up in one of the warehouses on Ebside. Place is locked up tight, but there's a guard who watches the door, and he's got the key. I'll stay with Billy in case Goodman's men come to collect. They're not stupid enough to tangle with me. My sister was able to snag a job at the Fusion Tower. of 
new possibilities, they say. This is private property. You'd better keep walking. This is private property. Do you now? I hope I can trust you. I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. Maybe we can bend the rules a bit. You go in, talk to the man, and then you come right back out. Try anything stupid, and it's your funeral. Here, this will get you in. Something I can do for you, friend. Well now, always happy to have a visitor. Tell me, what brings you by, friend? Little light on credits, are ya? Such harsh words. You wound me. Have I loaned credits to help those in need? Certainly. But that's no crime. I'm well within my rights to collect my due. And if payment is late, penalties shall apply. Oh, I intend you no offense. It just seems to me that you're trying to get involved in business that ain't yours. What's your stake in this anyway? Well, I'm afraid that's just none of my concern. How about I save us both some time and deal with you right now? Goodman. I didn't mean to put you in harm's way. I was hoping he'd come around when he saw you were a Free Star Ranger deputy. Took me about a week on the job to learn that doesn't usually work around here. Okay. Time for me to keep my end of the bargain. The woman you're looking for is named Grace Early. Stealing ships is her line of work. She usually comes here to sell the goods. Rumor has it she just finished a job for some mercenary outfit, and she's been throwing money around, so must have paid well. I know her. When she isn't out on a job, she's a regular at Madame Sauvage's. That's on the upper platform. I'll back you up. Well, look who's here to spoil my day. A Free Star Ranger and his... What are you? A sidekick or something? Now that's what I call real conviction. So how come I'm talking to the sidekick instead of the ranger? Uh, this is the deputy's case. Is that so? And you had to bring backup just for little old me? <laughs> I'm flattered. Anyway, this ain't my first interrogation, so let's just get on with it. <laughs> that remains to be seen. I'm guessing this is the part where you tell me that you've got questions and that you expect me to answer them. That sound about right? Yes, I jacked the ship. 
But look, I was just a contractor. I didn't even keep the ship. I gave it to some men. It was just a quick, clean job. I made sure nobody got hurt. Look, they didn't tell me what they were going to do. How was I supposed to know they were going to go after some farmer? You should have asked when you took the contract. If that woman had been killed, you'd be an accessory to murder. Did you think about that? I... No, I... I guess I didn't. It's not that simple. Maybe I can make an exception. Yeah, I hope so. Maybe. Need to think about it. Hey, hey, don't get ahead of yourself. All right, fine. I was approached by a woman named Maya Cruz. Said she was a senior member of the first and that she had a job for me. She was working with someone inside Hope Tech and pitched me on the idea of jacking a ship right out of the factory. We were deep into planning the job when she had some kind of medical emergency. She said she needed surgery and would be in recovery for a long time. That was a few weeks ago. Haven't heard from her since. No, but it sounded serious. She was upset. Seemed kind of shaken, you know? Didn't seem right I should pry, so I didn't. Not long after that. I got a message from a guy named Marco. He said he was the money man for the first, and he offered half up front. Never met him directly, though. It was always through intermediaries and using encrypted slates. Got the feeling he was paranoid as hell. Do you have one of those encrypted slates on you right now? Yeah. Here, take it. I'm done with all this. Anything else you want to know? No. Nothing at all. <laughs> Left me feeling a little disappointed, given how well they paid me. Not so much as a hint. I'll tell you, he's as cagey a fixer as I've ever met. Bankrolling the first must take a lot of money. I'm sure he's got all kinds of side hustles going on. Yeah, sure. Next time you're at the Rock, you should give that encrypted slate to Ranger Alex Shadid. He's got a gift for cryptography. If anyone could crack that slate, it'll be him. I'm gonna head back. Good luck, Deputy. Then I'm free to go. Suits me. I'm getting too old for this line of work. Besides, I'm going out on a high note. Ain't many can say they grabbed a ship right out of Hope Deck. Should make a good story for the kids one day. Late one night, Annie Wilcox tried to arrest me for public indecency. Better this than being some dust wrangler on Montara Luna. Good to see you. Hey, I wondered when you might come by. I'm Alex. Nia's report said you were heading for Neon? I've always wanted to go there. What did you think? Yeah, I bet. It just sounds so exciting and so stimulating. Probably makes Aquila City look like the more boring backwater town in the settled systems by comparison. Alas, I'll have to experience it vicariously through you and the other rangers. So how'd it go? 
Turn up anything useful? Did he now? Well, in that case, challenge accepted. It's only a matter of time before I know every dirty little secret stored in this thing. Now, if you get any more of these, bring them to me. It helps if I can compare different instances of the encryption they're using. Just look for me up here. I have no life, so I'm not usually hard to find. Oh, I will. I guarantee it. If you're looking for the Rangers, check the upper levels or the I need a word. Welcome back. Any luck finding out who stole that ship from Hope Tech? Glad you got a chance to meet him. Sounds like you're making real progress. You're off to a good start, but that's all it is. A start. What did you learn from the starship thief? Now we're getting somewhere. Sounds like you've got a couple of new leads to follow up on. I have a guess who Marco might be. I served with Maya Cruz. She's a technical genius and an expert hacker. I can give you some background if you want it, or we can go straight to planning your next move. Like what? Most likely place would be the clinic. It's in Freestar Collective Space and provides the best medical services credits can buy. They also guarantee privacy. So it's an ideal place for someone trying to keep a low profile. Ranger Ben Armistead has posted there. I'll send him an update on the situation. Around the time he got out of jail, we started hearing Marco's name in circulation. Word is he's heading up a smuggling racket. Based on what you've learned, I'd presume he's funneling his ill-gotten gains to the first. Ranger Autumn McMillan is out at Red Mile right now looking into the smuggling operation. I suggest you pool your resources. Uh, just remember, that's outside Freestar Collective Space, so we've got no jurisdiction there. Your priority is to gather more intel about the first. What are they planning? Who are they working for? Where are they headquartered? Just remember that your targets were locked up because they were loyal to their unit. They think the Freestar Collective betrayed them. In other words, you ain't gonna get a warm welcome. So be careful. Good hunting, Deputy.